Today, welcome back to GTA Online for a very different vehicle for GTA Online. This is clearly a BMW 3 or 5 series, ignoring the fact that I've already ruined it. I've crashed it twice already. So this is the Reinhardt. I think that's how you pronounce it. Clearly a BMW 3, 5 series. Turn the lights off so you can actually see it a little bit better. It's when they kind of adopted the Lexus lights. The back looks a little bit lifted up. The front very much 5 series. I swear. I swear I'm normally better at driving. Now, normally I don't actually bother to read the descriptions of them, but I really should because the description on this one is quite funny. I saw the description over on Twitter before I made this video. You're far too cool to own an SUV. I know, I know. And a sedan? You might as well get practical and economical tattooed onto your nuts. No, your performance driven and you're an executive you're a family of four hey you could fit a bigger family than that come on don't don't play no game it's funny though because i know i do not regret buying a wagon no one has ever regretted buying a wagon suvs in the bin that's how it's gotta be i'm sorry i'm not sorry all right let's upgrade this thing i'm gonna go to i swear why am i crashing every five seconds allow me to introduce you to the world of wagon i won't say propaganda because it's it's wagon superiority <laughs> is what i'm gonna say now i am a wagon man and the reason is why do you need an suv this has got more space in it and if you argue oh but my suv is bigger it's not true it's just not true i know it's not true i've tried it i i've got experience wagon superiority all right <laughs> brakes upgraded from bumper let's have a look see what we can get it doing we have got some splitters and stuff to throw on of course and the splitters don't get massively aggressive i'm gonna go for like a more kind of sleek what i would do to the dad wagon build that's i think the best way to do it you want to look sporty but you also want to still look sophisticated you want to look like you drive what in the flying you don't want that is quite honestly what i'm gonna say i'm i'm, I'm a toned down businessman i don't want these yobbos thinking i want to race them and the funny thing is i would probably beat them because i probably have a million horsepower in my beautiful wagon and even if not it doesn't matter because i practically do that tuna cage is sick that is sick you still got full seats but you got a full cage in there, but it does remove the practicality of me dad wagon. So, you know what? Dad wagon's keeping the standard seats. I think they look nicer. I quite like it. Engine upgrades all the way bang, full acceleration. Exhaust customers it. Why does that sound so meaty? It, I swear there's a bit more bass on that than normal. Maybe it's just because of the fact we're inside a building. Side exhaust? Why do we have <laughs> side exhaust like that? That's just. That's just a bit odd. We've still got the cutouts for the for the rear exhaust. I'm, I'm probably going to go that route. we got a grill. Thank you. Because the grill, honestly, I think it's a little bit tame. I want something a little bit more. <gasps> All right. Now we know we're in a big power, big old, big old dad wagon. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. The hood has got a slight bump in it now, which honestly definitely adds a little bit to it. I like that. We've got some holes on the hood in case you want some some holes. <laughs> I don't know. This is starting to look, I don't know. That reminds me of the Need for Speed Polestar on the hood there. That is properly aggressive. Uh, I'm going to do it. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm lying. Stripes on it. We have got black stripes. That looks kind of blue to me rockstar i don't know if you you look oh the middle stripe but why is the outside the other one's probably secondary color isn't it yes so we got race liveries of course because yeah you're gonna race in your dad wagon because why the hell not i don't i don't like any of these to be honest i think all the liveries on this are shine you need to hire some community people that's what you need rockstar you imagine if gta had a livery editor it would just kind of it would just win <laughs> that, that would be it game set and match roof customization tell me we got a roof box tell me we got a roof box something something special for my no no oh yes we do we got we got a roof box in case you needed even more space suv in the bin suv in the oh mate we're going surfing as well because we can uh, we're going surfing with a pink surfboard i think i really like the carbon roof and i wish i could combine two aspects but i'm i'm, I'm gonna go for the roof box the secondary because we can probably change the color to black and that'll look really really cool side skirt customization of course we can go through these pretty quickly they're all pretty damn similar we're gonna go for the one that matches the front we got spoilers oh we got little lip spoilers that's good maybe we can keep it tame rockstar maybe we can what the f <laughs> we've got the big wang you know what? You know what? Wait, that's a chassis mount. What the f- Why is that a chassis? I'm doing that. I'm going for the big wang. I do not even care. I'm going against what I would normally do, which is, well, I'd go for the chassis mount. But uh, today is a special day. Slam this boy to the ground looking super spot. These wagons are just, they're just so much better. Honestly, if you buy an SUV these days, you're, you're weird, mate. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. It's just a weird thing to do. Why? 
What what do you what do you achieve? You know those articles where there's those activists putting down the air in the tires of SUVs. <laughs> Maybe I'll join them one day. No, I'll, I'll, I'll go that far. Don't do that. That's stupid. All right, wheels, paint. You already know how it goes. Clap with the hands. Well, it has been decided, and I promise you, I've gone for a very different color today. It is not what you think it is. You can already tell by the thumbnail, but I want to show you the colors. You already know. I, I like to show you. The roof box was the only piece that changed with the secondary color, which is a little bit disappointing. Really wish we could have had that carbon roof, but I've gone for a racing blue, not ultra blue. It's not. A <laughs> it's magnificent. It's beautiful. Sophisticated. Fast. Powerful. It's a statement saying that I hate big cars for the sake of being big. I am practical. I am pow- I've said powerful. I have a big behemoth wang, therefore, I am sporty man. Oh, you know, the roof box could have gone all the way onto the onto the wing. That would have been sick. The wheels, I went for like a, a little bit of a brown. I can't remember what it's called. It's like a slightly brown, but very bright. It was much brighter than the silver. And I think it turned out really nice. It looked nicer outside, but uh, I wanted to look inside. There's so many little details I'd love to change, like carbon mirrors, carbon roof, carbon wing. But of course, we can't have everything. Now, what I want to know is, can this thing uh, drive well? That's, that's a pretty important factor in the sports wagon world. It looks so good. I, I, I think I've converted. JDM cars, you know, I've got, I've, I've completed it, mate. Completed it. We've got a big old new modern Japanese LC500. Completed it, mate. Picked up a wagon and now I'm a wagon man. It's just the best car. It's the best car. You don't take up useless amounts of space unless, you know, you don't have kids or people to take in the back of. But what if you do an Ikea? Ikea. Sorry. Mate, this thing mashes up super quickly. It's not quick. It doesn't feel that quick at all. It feels like it's got quite a bit of weight on it. But generally, these things do weigh just under two tons. If not, nowadays, new cars, probably two and a half if it's electric. So, so I don't care. This thing is ultimately... So, I never understood. It's something that I've seen quite a lot recently. I never understood the, the want to lower an SUV. It doesn't make sense. It's like when people lower trucks. That's just a bit weird. Like, don't get me wrong. There's like the, the trucks, the single cab trucks lower. They kind of look quite cool, but I'm talking like big double cab trucks that are lowered to the ground. Doesn't make sense. Why have you done that? And of course, I want to just show, I want to show my friend Benny. Not even Benny, it's how. I, what do you think, my boy? You like it? Oh, it looks so good. I know a lot of people are gonna be massively into this car. Like compared to the R8 last week, this is so much more subtle, but I can pull the R8 on the back of this. Then what you think? That's right. It's cool. But it was worth a look to see if there's anything new, anything different here. And it doesn't seem that is the case. But something I do like is that you can get colored lights here. And I was, I was wondering if it would change the surrounds. It doesn't change the surrounds, which is a little bit of a shame. I would have liked to see that. To be honest with you, I kind of like the white lights. That looks a little bit cooler. And of course, we could go neons as well. But I don't know if a dad wagon needs neons. I think it's already too cool as it is. Why is it so... It's never... This engine sound has never sounded this meaty before. It's like they went, no, it needs to be powerful. You know, in racing games, we need more wagon appreciation. We've got bloody Euruses and all that crap in there. Can you imagine if a Lamborghini made a shooting brake? Like, they made a wagon. They made something practical, powerful. Like, I know Ferrari did with the FF, and I called it the pregnant Ferrari. Yes. That thing was pretty ugly but i prefer lamborghini as a brand and the fact that they haven't given us what we want before the yaris existed that's disgusting that is horrendous you could have literally used an audi a6 or a4 or whatever any of the event crap but you thought no here's an suv that doesn't even have a proper engine in it it's so fat that if they put a v10 in it it would probably have a truck license as a requirement i do find it pretty mad that in europe in case you didn't know there is a weight limit on your license and very soon in fact especially when we start to go to electric cars are suvs are gonna get to the point where they actually weigh so much that i think it was is it bentley or is it rolls royce are asking europe to increase the weight limit so they can have a car that weighs that much why does your car need to weigh that much? Did you mess your mind? No, it's fine. Now, since we're going to obviously be doing a redo of the handling in the next GTA game, I really hope we can get some, like, handling customization. Just, like, maybe even having a sports mode or having a, you know, full assist, no assist, some assist. 
those options i think would be really cool for gta just allowing us to do things like slides because as you can see why is there a car full of what a car it's just what the hell it just bogs down when it could just power on oh wait wait we've got to figure out one more thing if this is the ultimate car it's all wheel drive baby all right best car in gta online right now you can buy it highly recommend by the pants man <laughs> smash like subscribe and peace